uh, and they said, uh, "How are you, sir? I have been, I've gone through your ISO Foundations course. Congratulations, and it has been a blessing to say the least. So I just got offered a role in cybersecurity engineering with the following job description." And he goes through some of this i'll just kind of skim through this i won't read all of this but basically he's going to be doing some information system security officer work where he's doing system security plans and maintaining and executing processes for uh, reviewing and and routing reports so yeah this is an information system security officer type job that he that this person just got and i get i get a lot of emails like this and i'm, I'm really happy when i get these kinds of emails about people getting a great benefit off of my risk management framework courses and how they are able to get a job and not only get a job but do do the job effectively and and know what's going on so that's that's why i created the course was for that very reason is to help people out i just didn't see a lot of material out there you know this course is where the the instructor will fly out there and it's like you know f six grand and stuff like that i wanted to do something that was more personal and uh more practical and, and and affordable so that's that's the whole reason i did it so that's great anyway reading the rest of his message he says what strategy would you recommend to be successful in this role he's got so i guess it was an interview or did he already get the job um i have just gone through okay and i just got a role i got offered a role oh he's got the job then that's awesome <laughs> anyway he says what strategy would you recommend to be successful in this role? What should I look out for in terms of documentation, stakeholders, and things of that nature? And thank you very much, sir. Okay. All right. So I'm sure at some point you're going to see this video. So I'm, gonna, I'm speaking directly to you, but I'm sure this is going to help a lot of other people. If you're new to a uh, risk management framework and into this role, you're, ta you're asking in terms of documentation, stakeholders, and things of that nature, like what things should you look out for? So one of the main things that I would say for any new person, you are part of the team. D don't one of the one of the big mistakes that a lot of risk management framework people, security, cybersecurity people make, especially dealing with documentation and, and the stuff you're about to do risk management, information system security officer work, and, and compliance. But really, this applies to any kind of IT job, but in particular, cybersecurity. Um, you're enforcing some of the policies of an organization, or you're writing the policies, things like that. One of the things that a lot of us do, and, and myself included, one of the things that I did wrong in the beginning is to think that I have to take on all this responsibility, and I, and I would stress myself out thinking that I have to be the one and only sheriff of the entire infrastructure. The thing is, it's a team effort. There's You can't do anything without the team. It's not a one-person show. So the main thing, for, as far as stakeholders are concerned, is remember you're part of a team. Don't try to be the expert in everything, because you're not. So for, i just give you a specific example. If you're dealing with the firewall person, and may, let's say you've done firewalls before, you know, and so you know a thing or two. That's not your current role. Your current role is cybersecurity and you're doing risk management framework, right? But you need information from the firewall person. You need to trust their expertise and their professional role. You know what I mean? Like you have to trust them to do the right, to do their job. And that goes for if you, let's say you have to work with the program manager and you were a program manager before, so you know exactly what they're supposed to do and all that kind of stuff. Don't overstep your bounds. You got to trust them to be a, uh, to be an effective part of the team. Now, if they're not, that's a whole different that's a whole different discussion. But you are part of a team, and you need to be a team player with them. And and everyone has to come together to make the cybersecurity of the infrastructure uh, better. And that goes for the documentation because you can't do the documentation by yourself. If you're reviewing or writing the documentation, it has to be peer reviewed by everyone. You know what that means? You wrote it, and then you send it off to someone, and they peer they your peers review it. They look at it and okay, it looks like you got some misspellings here. You might want to check the formatting, and this I think this might be technically off. And then don't just assume things. Uh, 
use the team to get the most effect to get the most effective answer. You know, send the document to the firewall guy if if you need that firewall piece, or say, hey, I have a question about this specific uh, rule on the firewall. I need some details. Like, what do you think about this? Be a part of the team. That that would be the main thing that I that I personally did wrong, and it's been the most effective thing that's completely shifted and changed my whole um, career path. Just that one thing. So that that would be the only thing. Let me see if there's anything else. Those are the main things. I would say that that's the main things. If you're in a team, if you behave like you're a part of a team instead of trying to take on all this work yourself, um, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge weight off your shoulders because you know this is a team effort. It's not just me. Um, it's all of us having to carry this weight. So that that would be what I would say right there. And I